All right, this is Andrew with Jota Home Inspections. We are doing a sewer scope today here in Salt Lake City. Today is September 7th, 2024, and we have the camera pushed out 103 feet to the city connection. And now we're going to pull it back and record it. So the address we're at is 1845 Logan Ave. Um, so 103 feet out, that's a pretty average length of a sewer line. I always tell people 100 feet is about the average that I see. Uh, right off the bat, it looks like we see some roots. And once you have roots, you're always going to have roots. That's going to be a maintenance item that you want to maintain in the future. Uh, definitely now you want to have these cleaned out. Those are certainly big enough that that could cause a big enough blockage where it backs up into the house. Uh, and you had a couple joints that had a lot of roots coming through. So there's another one. Looks like this is either gravel cement or transite from what I can tell. It does not look like clay. Transite uh, cement asbestos pipe. I noticed quite a few small offsets, and so you can see how there's a lip right there. My camera kind of stops when it hits it. Um, I had to run some water and, and kind of muscle over those those offsets. And waste is going to have the same issue where it can get stuck, and that can create a blockage. Uh, these offsets are far from the worst ones that I've seen, but still not ideal. I would definitely recommend the insurance on this line. That would help offset the cost if and when you have a bigger issue. This is the original line. There's another route coming through. I'd recommend having it evaluated again once you have it cleaned. Sometimes you'll remove roots or clean the line, and it makes things visible that we're not seeing right now because of the buildup or because of the roof. Uh, now we're transitioning to cast iron. This might be the weakest link. Uh, cast iron gets real rough and rusty. Eventually it will need to be replaced. I've certainly seen a lot of houses already of this age that have already had to replace it. And this is looking pretty rough. So waves can get stuck in here a lot easier. It's not as smooth. We also have some standing water, which could be caused by how rough the line is, but it could be caused by bad grade. And then a little tiny bit of ABS. ABS is a plastic pipe. So just to recap, there are some roots that you want to have cleaned out now. Um, but also a fair amount of cast iron that will eventually need to be replaced. I'd recommend having it clean, reevaluated, and then definitely having the insurance on this line. I'm going to end this recording now.